I'm Andrew. I'm Melissa's older brother, my beautiful wife, Becca, and the two little kids running around. That's Everett and Mia. They'll be participating tomorrow in the wedding. Uh, so there's a pretty big age disparity between me and Melissa, I'm 11 years older. And when I look at Mia, my own daughter, it brings back a lot of memories when Melissa was that age. At the time, some of Melissa's uh, biggest interests were Barney and Power Rangers. Uh, obviously, her tastes have developed over time. I remember coming back home from school once, and uh, the only thing she wanted was a Chanel bag. And uh, Melissa, I'm really proud of the woman you've become. You're really hardworking, you're beautiful, you're really caring, and uh, I'm really happy for you too. Yeah, Becky and I have only been married for just over six years, so uh, I don't have much in the way of, to offer and sage marriage advice, but what I can say is that once you guys get married, you two are a team, and whatever you can do together is gonna be much greater and much more powerful than you can do individually. When you're struggling, you have to lean on each other for that encouragement and strength. And um, that's, that's who you can, you can lean on for the rest of your life. And everybody's going to say happy wife, happy life. I can certainly attest to that. Uh, <laughs> Melissa is, should be pretty easy to make happy. You just might have a big credit card bill to pay every month. <laughs> growing up with Hayden was like growing up with a brother. Uh, Hayden's my brother. So... Uh, I remember hearing Missy's name for the first time and thinking, who is she? Who, who is Missy? Uh, but, but as the years went by, she's good for you. She makes you happy and uh, you, you guys belong together. So uh, if I could give you a piece of advice, I've, I've been married for two years. Uh, it doesn't say much, but all I can tell you is uh, the point of marriage is to get through things together. Uh, you're supposed to lean on each other, support each other. So. Uh, Best of luck to you guys and to your marriage, and let's raise our glasses to Hayden and Melissa. And uh, we just started to have a conversation about the class. Honest to God, my first intention was to be the closest to the aisle so I could rush out of the door. Little did I know that that class and that girl, Melissa, would change my life. After that day, we were basically inseparable for the rest of our college years and beyond. Um, we were constantly hanging out between classes, going to chapel, shopping together, going to top of bars, eating food, a lot of food, going to festivals or concerts, and travel around the world together. And it all started with a little courage to sit by a stranger and later became my best friend.
We thank you for the coming of these two families and these two individuals as they stand before you and your witnesses to start their new journey together. As they have spoken these words, as they, as they have exchanged these objects called wedding band, as they are standing before performing this act, may their heart's sincerest desire be to honor you and love each other. In sickness and in health and in joy and in sorrow, in plentitude as well as in poverty, through all of it, may you be honored, dear God. We pray that you will bless Melissa and Hayden as they come together. May their life be an example for many to seek and desire the true and living God of love. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hayden keeps things so close to the chest that I didn't even hear the story of how they started dating until about a month ago. And apparently, uh, he sent her a message on Facebook that said, uh, we should date. And so I kind of imagine him sitting there thinking, like, come on, say yes, yes. And uh, I imagine, I think you can all imagine how he felt when he got her reply back, which was, okay. Okay.